Hey there, it's me, Ripper the Clown, the unpredictable cartoon character come life, and sadly today we lost actress Carrie Fisher. Now, we all know that the year 2016 has been absolutely horrible with celebrity deaths. We've lost so many actresses and actors and musicians that we all love, and unfortunately the year 2016 has ended pretty much with the loss of an icon and a legend in Carrie Fisher. And hey, you know what? We all grew up watching Carrie Fisher in Star Wars as Princess Leia. I don't care how old you are, you grew up watching her. And I know that most fans remember Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia, and this is the iconic Carrie Fisher role. But alas, my favorite Carrie Fisher role is a little obscure. And so above and beyond Princess Leia, my favorite Carrie Fisher performance is as the unnamed woman in the John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd classic, The Blues Brothers. You see, throughout the entire Blues Brothers film, a woman keeps trying to assassinate Jake Blues in really comical ways, yet she is repeatedly unsuccessful in these attempts. And at some point, Dan Aykroyd even says something like, who is that girl? And they never really acknowledge it until the end of the film, as the brothers are escaping the concert in the sewer system, and um, the woman reappears, she pops out of the uh, side sewer and blocks their way with a machine gun. And then at that point, we finally get an explanation as to why she's been trying to kill Jake Blues for the entire film. It's a really fun scene. And the mystery woman, aka Carrie Fisher, her speech about uh, being left at the altar by Jake Blues is absolutely hilarious, especially how she explained her grievances, including how to obtain the seven limousines for the wedding party her father used up his last favor from Mad Pete Trollo. I just love that line for some reason. It just strikes me as really funny. Um, because even though we don't know who Mad Pete Trollo is, we know that he's probably a really crazy and wild guy. And the expression from Dan Aykroyd as he lies there in the sludge listening to and watching this exchange between John Belushi and Carrie Fisher, it's just priceless. And, and as is John Belushi pleading for his life and giving a litany of really pathetic excuses as to why he missed the wedding and, you know, then Carrie Fisher, the mystery woman, believes him. And the whole thing is just absolutely hilarious and it's just a an extremely, it's a classic scene of comedy. And so, when Jake Blues makes the unknown woman think that he still loves her and gives all these really asinine excuses, you know, she forgives him, she drops the gun, they embrace, they kiss, and then Jake Blues unceremoniously stops kissing her, turns to Elwood, said, let's go, he says, let's go, and he drops her in the sewage, and you hear her splat as uh, Jake Blues runs off, and um, then... Elwood, Elwood gets up, and he scurries off, but not before Danny Aykroyd nervously turns to her, and he kind of gives her a little wave, and he says, take it easy. And uh, so, angrily, knowing she's been jilted for the second time, the mystery woman uh, gets up and grumbles, and she grabs her gun, and she chases the Blues Brothers outside and fires off a few additional unsuccessful rounds from her machine gun as Jake and Elwood escape. And it's the last that we see of Carrie Fisher in the Blues Brothers, and... Um, you know, from reading various books about this film and about John Belushi, I believe I read or heard somewhere that Carrie Fisher's role was actually supposed to be more involved in the film, but it was cut due to the overwhelming length of the script. Regardless, despite being on screen less than five minutes the entire Blues Brothers film, Carrie Fisher's role is extremely memorable, and it's my favorite role in Carrie Fisher's career. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. I am Ripper the Clown. And hey, before I go, I want to apologize for the sound of my voice. It's, it sounded pretty rough. I've been dealing with a really nasty and nightmarish Christmas flu for the past few days. My voice is definitely not up to the Ripper the Clown standards, but it's what I've got, so I've got to deal with it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching my Carrie Fisher tribute. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.